Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Ransomware causes a global garment outage. DAR's home safe system is certified for the TBM 940. And the Artex ELT 345 is now FAA approved. I'm Sophie Herlock. On Thursday, Garmin shut down a good portion of its connected services, call centers, and fly Garmin services after a wasted locker ransomware attack demanding $10 million caused a global outage. And while Garmin has been slowly recovering some of its connected services, the attack has greatly hampered many pilots and aviation operators, potentially putting others in harm's way. Wasted Locker is an attack that encrypts files across the affected server, making it impossible to access them until the ransom is sent to the hackers, who will then send a code to unlock the files. Media outlet Bleeping Computer claims to have had contact with a Garmin employee who confirmed the Wasted Locker attack and say that they first became aware of the attack when they came into work Thursday morning. Originally, employees tried remotely to shut down any computer on the network as their devices were being encrypted, and after being unable to do so, they then were told to shut down any computer on the network they had access to and any devices hosted in a data center. Garmin still has a number of issues to resolve before their entire connected services will be back online. However, they did dedicate a page on their website to sharing information on this outage, as well as highlighted that there have been no indication that this outage has affected your data, including activity, payment, or other personal information. When we return, we'll have the latest on the FAA's Emergency Airworthiness Directive for certain Boeing 737s. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. On July 23rd, the FAA issued an emergency airworthiness directive for a number of Boeing 737s, which it says was prompted by four recent reports of single engine shutdowns due to engine bleed air fifth stage check valves being stuck open. The FAA states corrosion of the engine bleed air fifth stage check valve internal parts during airplane storage may cause the valve to stick in the open position. If this valve opens normally at takeoff power, it may become stuck in the open position during flight and fail to close when power is reduced at top of descent, resulting in an unrecoverable compressor stall and the inability to restart the engine. The AD calls for the inspection of the engine bleed air fifth stage check valve on each engine and the replacement of the engine bleed air fifth stage check valve if any inspection is not passed. Bombardier has delivered the first global 5500 aircraft to be based in the United States to Unicorp National Developments of Orlando, Florida. The aircraft delivery took place at Bombardier's Wichita site, where global 5500 aircraft are completed. The aircraft entered into service last month and can take passengers nonstop from Florida to Sao Paulo, Paris, London, and Moscow. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has proposed emission standards for airplanes using commercial aviation and large business jets. The action will align U.S. standards with the International Carbon Dioxide Emission Standards set by the International Civil Aviation Organization, as well as sets a precedent with the Trump administration, being the first to propose regulating greenhouse gas emissions from aircraft. 
Three out of four aircraft manufactured in the U.S. are sold overseas. These standards will allow U.S. manufactured planes to continue to compete in the global marketplace while ensuring consistent standards across the globe. The proposed standards would apply to new type design airplanes on or after January 1st of 2020, as well as two in production airplanes on or after January 1st of 2028, and would not apply to manufactured airplanes already in use. NASA has already started an ambitious mission to carry an 8.4-foot telescope 130,000 feet into the stratosphere by a balloon. Planned to launch in December of 2023 from Antarctica, ash throws will spend three weeks drifting on air currents observing far infrared light blocked by Earth's atmosphere. Most recently, the mission's team put the finishing touches on the design for the observatory's payload, which includes its telescope, its science instrument, and its subsystems such as the cooling and electronic systems. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory will start integration and testing of those subsystems in early August. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. SAR's Home Safe system has been certified by both EASA and the FAA for its TVM 940 aircraft, making them the first aircraft manufacturer to receive simultaneous dual certification from both airworthiness authorities. Home Safe is an emergency autoland system that brings aircraft to a runway touchdown if the pilot becomes incapacitated. This system is the ultimate step of the TBM E co pilot concept evolution after the auto throttle introduction on the TBM 940. Home Safe is activated manually by an easily recognizable orange button atop the cockpit instrument panel or semi automatically if the emergency descent mode has been engaged. Its software integrates weather and terrain information to select the best airport for landing, taking into account fuel range and runway length. Its certification clears the way for new deliveries of DARS TBM 940s already factory equipped with the Emergency Autoland system. Any TBM 940s already delivered in 2020 will be upgraded with this system at TBM service centers. Additionally, this system will be available for retrofit on all earlier production TBM 940 aircraft at an introductory price of $85,000. ACR Electronics debuted its Artex ELT-345 Emergency Locator Transmitter with its recent FAA approval for multiple antenna and remote switch options. The small form factor and lightweight ELT-345 is now approved with a 15-inch antenna and a new two-wire slimline remote switch and is available in three different retrofit configurations featuring flexible options that allow for easier and less expensive installations on experimental and general aviation aircraft. Artex ELT-345 transmits on 406 MHz and 121.5 MHz frequencies, providing pilots with a state-of-the-art emergency distress beacon that maximizes frequency stability and power while incorporating a built-in GPS navigational interface. Utilizing three COSPASS SARSAT satellite systems, the GEOSAR, LEOSAR, and the new MEOSAR constellations, the Artex beacon provides search and rescue forces around the world with the user's ELT emergency distress message and location in less than three minutes. Each of the three compressive kit options feature a two-wire remote switch, coax cable, and antenna, along with the ELT-345 beacon and installation kit. And that wraps up our show for today. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can receive updates when new videos are posted. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on Wednesday.